Hey, so it was somebody else? Well, it's Fennin. And welcome to DinoCo. It's a demo that is available now during the October Next Fest. And we're very, very excited to see what it is about. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. <laughs> Mark, your insufferable partner. Oh, it has swears. Okay. Fucking lazy low life mod. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Mark, calm down, please. I know you're driving a car, but is this the reason to swear that much? What are these people doing in a park on a Monday? People don't want to work anymore. People have no discipline. All I see is just dinosaurs. Really. Oh, no, I saw some people looking like monkeys more than people, but still saw some people. Good think we're here to keep the world from from turning into utter chaos. <laughs> I love his face. Oh my. Another day stuck in this petrol car. Petrol, petrol car. Listening to this rumbling. Why am I paired with this idiot? I'm always paired with idiots. I hope these are your thoughts and not necessarily what you're saying out loud because that's very rude. I tell you, man, people have gone crazy. They have no respect anymore. The other day I was patrolling with Paul and this Diplodocus. For anyone who loves dinosaurs there, I'm very sorry. I don't know the English names of dinosaurs. I don't know Polish names. Anyway, I'm not a huge know-it-all dinosaur person. Diplodocus got his head stuck in the window of an Iguanodon's apartment. <gasps> Scandalous. The Diplo was trying to eat the Iguadon... Iguanodon's plants while the Iguanodon was watching TV. Oh, I was created for one reason, to be the dinosaur cop in this town. Created, okay. Because no dinosaurs wanted to be cop and dinosaurs needed to be kept in check. Where is whoa, so close. So now, every day I work with idiots like Mark, who don't know shit about the world, but became cops because they have an untreated superiority complex or something, but I don't know. Do we have thumbs? Are we, what kind of dinosaurs are we? I've played a lot of Ark. Oh, I see. Oh my god, look at this hot chick. <laughs> oh my. Maybe we should find a reason to arrest her. Come on, don't give me that face. Chill out. I'm just joking. Why are there dinosaurs living with humans, you ask? Well, it's pretty simple. In the little laboratory, some scientists brought dinosaurs back to life because they thought it would be fun. I agree. It would be kind of freaking fun. In the end, the dinosaurs didn't want to be the human's toys and things turned sour. It would be fun. Yeah, I think so. Dinosaurs just don't have the same lifestyle as humans. Drink, drink. Page, patrol. It's patrol in Polish. 768. We received a call from the Cretaceous Hotel in the New Jurassic District. The caller said there was a dinosaur convention happening there and that a member brought human meat. Oh my. Oh, I can say the driver is so me too. Like, <laughs> he, that the way he passed the joke. Oh my. We have two wolves inside of us. A bad cop and a dinosaur cop. He didn't have the chance to identify himself. He was scared of getting caught calling us. Some sick lowlife brought human meat to a dinosaur-only event? Position and conception of human meat is punishable by death penalty, even though humans and other dinosaurs can eat Brontosaurus meat. Why? Why? Also, it kind of reminds me of Beastars on the topic of anime. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend that one as well. Although probably manga is better, as in most cases. The second season wasn't that great. Brontosaurus consider this law a double standard, while others 
are mostly happy they can enjoy such tasty meat. Of course, that's such a weird rule. Looks like a perfect case for my dino cop friend here. Yeah, human meat. Yeah, it really is interesting. Don't spoil too much of bee stars. There's no human meat there. Just the topics kind of remind me of that. Why are you monkey? You've been drinking, you have a red nose. Here's how we'll tackle this meaty case. Efficiently, but with keen sensitivity, sensitivity to the unique differences within the dino population. And blah blah blah, whatever they say during the workshop the other day. <laughs> the, the face of the dino, he's like, you haven't listened to the instructions? Oh my. You'll go in while I set up the security perimeter outside and make sure no one gets in or out. These are the, your people. You know how they think, know how they act, their culture and all. Uh, it's better if you speak to them. If I go in, I might just make things escalate. I can't help myself. I'm a foolish man, you know? I like my guns. Where are we actually? I just assumed we are in America. For this mission, we have the advanced technology of the Monster Monsterath Police Department at our disposal. Go open the trunk of the car and grab it. Ah, look at these paws! Oh my, okay, that's so cute. Can we murder? I'm sorry, that's my first thought after. <laughs> Alright, the trunk, the trunk. Ah, so cute. I have... Tiny. <gasps> of course, of course. Oh, he's so cute! You found a magnifying glass. Press tab to open your inventory and the equipment. Okay. Okay. So cute. Oh my god. I love him. I'm sorry. Can you see him in all his glory? Most of him. Okay. There's the face, so that's the most important part. Okay. Hello. This is advanced technology. The, oh, right. I, in all of this, I forgot that this is the advanced technology. Yes, yes. We'll help you inspect clues all around you. Once we're done talking, press space to use your magnifying glass and examine me in all my glory. Oh. Oh, I like that. Okay. Partner's nose. He has a big nose, but that doesn't mean he can sniff out crimes. Oh, I didn't have to hold it. Okay. I don't think. I think. He, I just think he's drunk. His badge makes him feel more important, or just important in general. Okay. What's that sound? It's kind of. Oh, I think it's just this. Makes him important. Can we crouch? We can. The regular control makes us crouch. I think that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, all your glory. I thought that maybe there would be a fun pun about the butt. There's none. And that's okay. Mm, how do I stop? Yes. That's it. Very good. Now you need something to keep track of your finds. You're not a stegosaurus, but you still only have the brain size of an ostrich. How dare you. You can't memorize all this without writing it down. See? That's why I can't go inside. I might slip up, say something like this, and get eaten. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna fight you already. I hate you, Mark. I hate you. For free? For free. You, you're different from the other dinos. You're cool. You don't get offended when I make really good jokes. Am I? So anyway, take this top secret investigation journal and press tab to read about the clues you've just found. Oh, so cute. You received the top secret investigation journal, you can access it in your inventory. Show me. Top secret. Alright. Ah, he has been... Okay. So this is where everything will be. The coal. The color says there's human meat on the Kreut Hotel. The coal was anonymous and was made at 10.45. Alright. 45. 
AM or PM? Nobody knows. Okay, it's top secret. Even for us. Alright, hello. Don't leave just yet. I've got more things to teach you. Okay, I didn't know. Where are notes interesting? Don't tell me. They are top secret. Anyway, maybe this tutorial was all for only five minutes of gameplay. It seems we might have our suspect right under our noses. Are you serious? That would make a very short demo. See that guy over there? He's holding a delicious piece of meat. Is this human meat? Use the skills I've just taught you to figure it out. Maybe we can get out of here as a as up and grab a beer or something, I don't know, or a donut or Charmander. Yeah, it is a Charmander. It will be a very fucked up Charmander if he's holding a piece of meat, of human meat. That I don't know if I can stomach it. Some hints are only revealed if you smell them. <gasps> Use the other button to sniff them out. Oh my god. Could our suspect be right at the entrance? Oh, I'm smelling. Mm. Mm -hmm. He looks at you. No smile, stiff eyes. Um, what kind of meat is this? It's jerky, but we're very close. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm inspecting you a little bit more. I love that emote. It's jerky. I'm not sure what kind. I threw the back away in the trash can over there. It's specified on it. He looks at you. Where did you buy it? In one of the vending machines around the hotel. Someone had forgotten their spare change in it, so I got a discount on my jerky. Okay, I love that way of thinking. We can still see the clues on the cop. Okay, it just points me here. Alright. So. That was awfully close, I agree. Smooching. Can we? We can run, okay. Good that I'm a gamer. I know that shift is running and crouch is crouching. Are we still crouching, by the way? No, not anymore. Where was the bin? I have a feeling it was somewhere around here, right? Oh, here it is, okay. <laughs> this bag smells like the meat the random guy by the door is holding. Use magnifying glass to inspect and discover the source of the smell. magnifying glass this one mammoth oh we're going all over the place mammoth jerky you just learned a new scent you can now use a magnifying glass to identify mammoth meat all right so we will go i guess and check if this is actually a mammoth meat is it Case closed! The random guy is eating mum of jerky. Okay. What's the jerky? We got an achievement for that. Okay. It's fun. Achievement in demo? Back meat. Yum. Yum ma ma ma. Alright. Oh, you want me to talk? Alright. Mum of jerky. God damn. I guess we'll have to spend more time here. You'll need a watch then, so you don't get lost in the case forever. So cute. Finally got my headphones. Now I can hear your voice. Oh, that's good. That's, you know, there are uh, subtitles in the game, but I think it will be an additional <laughs> thing to hear me read them out. You've received a watch. Time is running and dinosaurs have a schedule. Oh no, I don't like that. Keep track of the movements around the clock. No, I don't want it. Goodbye. Can I go now? I think we can. All right. <gasps> there are some gentlemen dinos with the top hats and all. Okay. Hello. Budapest Hotel demo. <laughs> I like how it's not crossed out, but there is a separator. Yes. The receptionist looks at you with a jaded eye. I wouldn't know. It looks like a burb. <sighs> How may I help you, officer? Speep the bellhop. Uh, I'm here for a routine checkup. No, we received an anonymous call about some suspicious activity. What was this call for exactly, officer? Apparently, there's human meat in your hotel. 
That's a good one, officer. I suggest your nostrils aren't as developed as mine. Suspect, maybe? No suggest? I'm not sure if I read that right. There's meat in this hotel, but it's not human. If it was, I'd know it right away. Have you seen anyone using a phone about 15 minutes ago? I don't know. There are phones everywhere in this place. But I can tell you one thing. No one left the hotel this morning, so the guy who called you for no reason is still here. Okay, good. Good to know. Do we... Should we ch check anything about here? Doesn't look that way, right? Doesn't look that way. Should we smell anything? No meat inside. So, just making sure there's nothing interesting here. Seems that there is not. Tells me to smell. Oh, wait. Oh! What's happening? This is public phone. Was this the phone used by the mysterious caller? We will see. Oh, Cute. Okay. Let's see. What's the quote of the day? I'm not sure. We don't do quotes of the day. It can be whatever you want it to be. You can see the phone was wiped clean sloppily. This wasn't the work of a thorough maid. What's the last person who used this phone trying to hide their identity. Mm. It does smell like something. Kind of, oh, can't identify this though. Alright. Anything fun here? No. Oh, yes. Alright. Oh, dirt scent learned. Okay, All right. Didn't know that was something we could do. Anything else? I think not. Oh, more. I have quite a lot of dirt. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the follow. And this is quite loud. Hello. Should we talk with everyone? Probably. Okay, we're very close. Oh, Mr. Officer, I'm so glad you're here. In my room, I kept a dress for a special occasions. It was really dear to my heart. Now it's gone. It vanished. Could you help me find it? I'm sorry, I'm signed to a special case right now. I can't help you. Oh, of course, Mr. Officer. I understand, but please, if you come across anything, let me know. That dress meant the world to me. All right. All right. Some dress missing. Can we address this issue? <laughs> sorry. I'm very sorry. Please don't unfollow. Please, I see what you're doing. Please stop. <laughs> okay, hello there. What you doing? Tarot card reading? You recognize this girl. You've arrested her before, usually for reasons you find fishy yourself. She's a superstar, dinosaur rights activist. Oh no. No. Most people consider the, her extreme methods a bit too far. Is she gluing herself to something? Or... So officer, you're gonna prevent me from distributing propaganda to my peers? Oh, it just might be. Not this time I leave more... Uh, where were you today? Maybe I was setting up a bomb to make the police precinct explode. Maybe I was taking a shit. Or maybe I was quietly walking back here after eating a marvelous dinner cooked by Sarah the cook. So, officer, you're gonna prevent me. Um, No, no, do what you want. I have a case. Most of us are standing together here. Whatever you're up to, you're better at straight. So, officer. Mm, I see. I see, I see. You're doing so amazingly. What do you mean? I haven't solved anything. Haven't solved shit now. Okay, first I'll talk to your boss. Hello. I like him. Setting up the stage for Jan Zero's speech is pretty stressful. There are a lot of safety guidelines we need to follow, and my two employees are newbies. My usual crew got sick from rotten mum of jerky yesterday. 
should we should we stop the guy in, in the front imagine how long that jerky must have been in the vending machine for it to go bad maybe it predated our extinction holy moly okay is there anything suspicious about you no i should go on the stage not setting it up good Stages are so big, they're kind of intimidating. How can I, a little, little dinosaur, set up something so massive? Oh boy. I am not sniffing anything. They didn't tell me anything good. No dirt around. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, a couple of smells, I feel. Oh, but that's super far. Okay. Not attainable right now. And more, I think it's inside of the building, not outside. So, demo no, let's go. <laughs> um, do I know the smell now? Maybe? No, it's not dirt. Okay, we know that it's not dirt. And I've been running around, like, away from this, because it's very loud. Oh. Oh? Ah, right. Okay, yeah. Well, won't be able to get that. That's okay. In the way, you're playing a role of any character in the reading for us. Ah, I'm glad you enjoyed that. This is my favorite type of games. I've been doing quite a lot of this lately. Oh, what's this? Oh, <gasps> it's a bonus. <laughs> okay. It is a coin, maybe for a vending machine? I think. I want to warn the guy at the front. I don't think we will be able to do this, but just in case... Hi! I know it's a mouth jerky. Please stop it. Please get some help. Please no. Ah. Uh, yeah. Well, I was expecting that, unfortunately. Oh, hello. This year's convention is the best I've attended yet. I really think it highlights the rapid... Oh, it ha... Mm, sorry, I really think it highlights the rapid evolution of the dinosaur community. It took us a while to get there after the revival, but now we see so many young minds imagining exciting perspectives for our future. Let's go back in and have more exciting dialogues with our peers. Den Dinosaur. Love that. The other Den Dinosaur. For sure, my distinguished friend. Yes, yes. Oh, that's a perfect moment to actually have a sip of tea. Cheers, guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Ryder. You make me blush. Holy moly. It's nothing, really. I'm very glad you're enjoying that. Oh, and they tap, 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 tap. Okay. No, no, no. No, no. Wanna talk? Please? Please? It's my job. I'm not selling anything. Okay. Next time, maybe. In the full game, maybe. I'm so tiny. It feels like I'm tiny. Was it the last mom of jerky? I think it was. Dinosaur rights convention. Should we be here? Ooh, he smells something. Something, something. Where? Oh, oh, um, oh, meat, 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 meat. <gasps> It's a donut. It's a donut. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 Both of them. Yeah. Okay. We're doing great. Great. Not gray. Great. Mm, we know the smell. Oh, we know it well. But one donut per... Anyway, don't mind that. You you haven't seen anything. I was not doing crimes. I am a cop. It's impossible to make crimes, okay? It's impossible. You haven't seen anything, have you? Welcome to the Dinosaur Rights Convention. Dinosaurs from different horizons are united here to exchange ideas and set the stage for the betterment of our future into society. That is lovely. Let me... No. No, not what I want. Yes. 
It's four dirt. I really hope we won't need more because one is locked on the wall. So I hope that uh, we don't need that. All right, back to this. Anything on you? Hmm. No, you seem fine for now. Okay. Hello, sir. Oh, that's a whole convention. Oh my. At first glance, the convention room looks normal. A dirty mat torn up by the claws of the guest's feet. Walls stained by smoke and cheap red wine. But the smell of meat fuels the room. You should sniff around and investigate the sources of this meaty perfume. It could also be uh, the perfect opportunity to start interrogating suspects. You can find the scent icon at the top right corner. Yeah. Use Q to switch between the different scents surrounding you. Ooh, new case. Inspect all the meat you can find at the convention. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this is the unknown source from the booth, maybe? Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you, kind sir. As a librarian, I'm here to tell you, you can learn important things from books. It's something we tend to forget in this digital age. Kids are always on their phones. They don't even know Jurassic Park was a book before it was a movie. I had a book. I had a book. And I marked it with old Polish Zlot in my way. <laughs> was that kind of times. This is a book about the history of the laboratory. Laboratory. That first brought dinosaurs back to life. It's kind of long. Do you want to read it now? No. Maybe I should. He just told me that I can read and learn things, so... The humans who brought dinosaurs back to life thought dinos would make good touristical attractions if they put them in zoos. That would be so brilliant. So good. I would love to visit a zoo like that. Little did they know, because scientists hadn't yet discovered this fact, that dinosaurs possess a consciousness similar to humans. When the first neo-dinosaur were put in zoos, they learned human language by listening to passerby, and eventually, as they grew up, they began to communicate with humans. This troubled the humans, so a lot of them wanted to keep the dinosaurs in the zoos. The directors of certain zoos proposed to cut off the tongues of the dinosaurs before the news of their intelligence could reach the masses. Oh my god. That's a little bit... Oh, I never listened to my dang imp lecture like the way I'm listening to you. Oh, oh my. Oh my, stop. <laughs> I, I'm very glad you're having fun. It'll be great narrating bits time. Oh, that's why I'm doing the um, frog detective games, etc. It's just me reading and I thought it would be actually really, really great. There's no swearing. It's just super cozy cute animals talking to each other um i think yeah that that's actually good couple of videos for uh the bedtime stories uh if you'd like it's up on my youtube so th i had that in mind and i'm changing voices there here i'm not really focusing on that at all at all because that one is kind of harsh the first lines with fucking and motherfuckers and everything I was not feeling it to, you know, put the voices into different characters as much. <sighs> Cut of the tongues. No. But there were a lot of zoos. The intelligence of the dinosaurs quickly became ma major, major international news. Most humans struggled with the idea of keeping dinosaurs that could speak in cages for their own entertainment. Good. As they should. That's when dinosaurs became second-class citizens. They didn't have the same rights as humans, but they were out of their cages. It's a win, kind of win. <laughs> the zoo owners had cut off the tongues of their dinosaurs who were put in prison. Ah, oh, hook had cut off. Yes, good. Since then, humans and dinosaurs have been trying to find common ground and live side by side. All right, it's already two. Gosh darn it. The yellow book. This is the main manifest of the Api Blob. 
the association of the preservation and the improvement of brontosaurus lives over all preservation. Yes, that was a long one. It's written in very fine print and it's too hard to read with the naked eye. What about that? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Your brain soaks up the words of the book. Your knowledge about the ethics of meat consumption has improved. Yay. The Apiplop Manifest taught you about the ethics of meat consumption. Good. This biography of Jan Zero, the diner politician titled The Art of Dialogue. The one that has a stage built up outside. Let's keep that in mind. I still not gonna sleep because when I see her expressions, my sleep will be gone. Oh, oh my, oh my. It's written in big print with a lot of images. His life story is made to sound complex and extraordinary. Oh, I smell something. I have a whiff. And I think it's over there, so. Let me skip and try to get there instead. Like I don't have a care in the world. Hello there. Napping, I see. What is this? Blended mammoth shake. That sounds disgusting. There is one out of twelve. Okay. Are you sick? The little voice in your head says... You use your advanced detective skills to deduce the cause of this of his drowni drowsiness. It's probably food coma. Snorptor. I don't think it's your true name, sir. Alright, so this is where it leads me? Or there is more? There is more. It looks down the stage? Hmm. Let's investigate that. Okay. A lot of people... I mean, not many people. Oh, wait a minute. Who's that sandwich? Can I know what that is. This, my dear sir, is a sandwich. You know that. But we don't know what it's made of. It's not dirt. And it's not mammoth meat. It might be human. Okay. Let's, let's stay still. Let's not panic. But it might be human. So people are there, gathered. They were all around the block, but they're there. Try our delicious brontosaurus meat. Um, why? Why are they allowing that? Right click. I am. Yeah. But I have done that. And after doing so, it still says that I don't know what this meat is. Right? Right. So I need to find the source first and be sure 100%. We should go out with this specialized tool at all times, I think. This is an instruction booklet for escape room from the zombie humans. Do you want to read it? Yeah! I love escape rooms. Escape from the zombie humans is a complex game with deep lore where choices matter. It would be such a fun plug in your game to your other game, by the way. To be able to finish the game, the player must sing the song of peace and friendship, which you can unlock using secret code that you can only find in this booklet. Nobody reads instruction booklet. What a weird way to design a game. I don't really have a unique way about this craft. Yeah. At least you can finish Escape from the Zombie Humans now. Oh. Can we play then? No. Oh, interact. Yeah, we can. This is a video game. Do you want to play? Yeah. Can we? You're a dinosaur with a gun. You're standing in the garden of a house situated in what looks like a basic American suburban town. A few human zombies are approaching. They're getting very close. What do you do? Coo very loudly. Shoot the red barrel, barrel in the corner of the garden with your gun. You shoot the barrel with your gun. The barrel explodes, blowing up the human zombies around you. The boom of the explosion will attract more. You gotta act quick. There's a metal shed next to where the red barrel was. 
You decide to take refuge in it. <gasps> but the shed is already occupied by a huge human zombie with a mustache playing with the lawnmower. Not the mustache, no. He probably used to be the dad of this household. The door of the shed locks behind you. The only escape is a window behind the zombie dad. What do you do? Sing the song! We know that from the pamphlet. As you sing the song of peace and friendship, the zombie dad cracks a beer open. He invites you to sit on his couch to watch hockey, but you don't like hockey. You take away his lawnmower and cut off his head. I've seen a zombie movie like that. You seize this moment to, of vulnerability to escape through the window. Oh my. Then you run into the sunset, gunning down all the human zombies. Ba, 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 ba. This ending feels special, profound and beautiful. You shed a tear. Finishing this game enlightens you and depends, deepens your understanding of the dinosaur condition in this world. Wow. Oh, I got an achievement for that too. Escape from the zombie. Made you feel something special. Yeah. Alright. Nothing special here. Would you like to talk about Jesus? Oh, hi. Hello. Mm -mm, you look fine. What a cheek. Okay. Um... <laughs> this is no PP. PPP. The struggle for dinosaur rights. Yes. So they have a conversation. Hello, being camera dino is an exciting but hard job. I barely have any breaks. That's why every morning I blend my proteins into a shake that I can that I keep cold with an ice pack in my lunchbox. What? What do you mean? Oh, 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 wait, wait. <gasps> oh my. What is this? Can't identify this. Could you try? Could you try harder? Okay, I'm leaving that to everyone to see. For everyone to see. Hello? Locked? How dare you? Hello? Suddenly the bar in Oxmo is closed right now. Our fridge broke down and we can't use our tabs. It should be fixed by 4pm. Come back then. We're the best place to kill time and enjoy a sweet brew cheese service. Alright. Oh, people are moving. Hello? We're here after the debate, debating about the debate. And maybe we should also debate whether debating is even debatable at such time. Is time itself debatable? It's all a question of perspective, my friend. Well, this Bruchisaurus kills the sadness inside me. That is an unde undebatable fact. One could argue it doesn't science... It doesn't. Sorry. Exclamation mark. Science says it makes your emotions harder to control when you sober up. But what knowledge constitutes science? What knowledge does it? Let's debate. I fucking love debates, man. <laughs> they make me feel important when in fact I have no control over my direct environment at all. Wow, what a comment on society. Hello. I don't often feel represented by my peers. What are you holding, sir? Can I please? Hold still. Hold st No! Come! How dare you? No. Come! Ah! I need to sniff your kebab. Come here! Can I stop you? Stop! Stop! You're making the investigation harder. How can I not? Stop! Awesome. Isn't Brontosaurus meat? Could this be? Could these two bozos really be hiding in plain sight, selling human meat and passing it off as a Brontosaurus meat? Could you crack this case so easily? I need to whiff it. Tell me, what is it? How can I not? Can I eat it? 
I'm the most represent respected Brontosaurus meat vendor in this town. Why are you so passionate about Brontosaurus meat? Brontosaurus meat is not only the tastiest meat, but it's also the healthiest and most ethical to consume, is it? Sandy, the Brontosaurus species don't handle its revival by laboratory well. Many Brontosaurus are born with major handicaps that would prevent them from living a fulfilling and happy life. What the fuck? The Brontosaurus meat market turns this strategy into an opportunity. Brontosaurus parents of defective offsprings can sell them to us and we end their suffering by putting them to the service of society. I feel disgusted. Wow. Hmm. Mm. Where were you today? I think that's when I went to see the cook to ask him to borrow a knife and a maid for some cleaning products. Uh, she gave me a bottle of Nigasaurus Sol. 5,000. My birdie friend over here doesn't want to admit it, but I'm pretty sure he misplaced our stuff when he went to dinner the day before. When we came back, everything was gone. It wasn't my fault, you fool. I'm pretty sure it was yours. Your head was still up your ass from partying too much the night before. Is this meat illicit? What is illicit? What? Are you confused by the smell of my dear friend over there? My meat doesn't smell like human meat. Human meat smells like chicken meat. Have a bite if you want to be sure. Okay. No doubt, it's Brontosaurus meat. Now we will know. Okay, the Brontosaurus meat marked market runs strategy into an opportunity. It's a new suspect. He's deep into the meat business and has questionable ethics. Ah, him, okay, right. So if I check them, no, not that way, that way. This is all Brontosaurus meat. And we need to inspect all the meat, there's 12 pieces. It's all Brontosaurus, that's good, that's good. Is this Brontosaurus meat? It is. Hello, sir. Is this a Brontosaurus meat? Hello? Sorry. Can I sniff your kebab? Sorry, sir. Yes. It's very important. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! What's this? A lot of people visited Jan Zero's kiosk. He's really popular. A lot of footprints. Ah! Oh, okay. There's also another Brontosaurus skewer. Okay. Hello. His eyes are red. He's upset, like a little kid who ran into his bully and had his lunch stolen. Except he's not a little kid. He's a very cutie patootie. He's a grown dinosaur. Sniff. Welcome to the kiosk of the revolutionary dinosaur movement. Oh. Uh, why are you so upset? I'm not upset. I, I didn't get my heart broken by the most famous dinosaur rights activist. Uh, she didn't leave me after two dates because I'm too hard headed. Heartbroken. What would cheer you up? I'm not sad, I said. I don't need to meet another girl to forget this one. I'm not a serial dater. I'm. I'm not a simp. I'm totally fine. What kind of girls do you like, huh? What is this... Um, what is kind of organization is... Uh, okay. What kind of organization is the RDM? The RDM aims to enforce dinolism. The appeal of dinolist society by the dino people for the dino people is the dinosaurs will be able to live in the community without having to deal with shenanigans of humans. I'm not upset. Okay. New suspect? He has trouble controlling his emotions. No, no, he doesn't... No, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. Hello, gentlemen. I wish the librarian had my poetry book in stock. It's one of the finest pieces of dino literature. 
Oh, I gotta confess, my dear friend, it's a bit too classical for my taste. Uh, why did you write it in Alexandrines? Uh, this is human established norm. Foolishness. Humans stole this aesthetic structure from our ancestors. I'm reclaiming something that was stolen from us. I think you're pushing a bit here, my friend. If you keep being so vulgar, I might not be your friend anymore. Oh, what was that? Oh, what, what, what? Hello? Hello? Hello, sir. Hello. Can I... Oh, I have inspected your meat before. That sounds worse than kebab, doesn't it? Oh, I have inspected your meat before. That's wrong. Green, green, green. Alrighty. Green. Many here. Okay. Let's see. It's not meat. The disc is so worn and damaged that its title is unreadable. If you want to know more about it, ask the vendor. Alright. Eat all humans. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The best traditional parasol songs. Oh. Alright. And what about this? Is this a... No, it's not a phone. For a second I thought it was a phone. It was not. Okay. People are leaving. What is this? Is that a P? Where's everyone going? Will I not solve it because I was too slow? I'm worried that that's gonna be the case. Oh, we've been there. Oh, this? So you want me to see this? Okay. I won't know. Oh, it's Greece. Oh, sh shoot. Okay. Mm. Trying to change the smell. Oh, I guess I'm the closest to donuts, though. Okay, I don't think there is anything else for me to see. Oh, the sandwich, though. Could inspect it now. Although somebody has took it. Oh, it's six. Yeah, everyone's gone. Took me too long. Oh. Can't? Yeah, I can. Okay. Moon half gone from the full peaks through the hotel windows. The tingling energy of the convention turns into another chaos, a more merry and cheerful one. But something feels off. You sense a presence near you. What is it? Okay, hello. And suddenly, a sound of voice. But so tense, it's not really a voice anymore. More like a deep coo comes out from nowhere, it seems, but confirms that you don't just feel haunted. That maybe you are. What? <gasps> Dynacop! Up playing games again? The presence. <gasps> what happens there? It was a yellow dinosaur, I'm so sure of it. We got mugged? Oh, he's moving. Dynacop! Dynacop is alive! Ah, be a victim. Become the victim of a crime. That's an achievement. That's great. Holy moly, you took a beating, my friend. Thankfully, good soul found you just in time. Or you would have bled to death on the floor. What happened? You got attacked by ghosts, you say? Well, sounds like whatever hit you knocked you hard. Real hard. You need to rest and heal for a while. Until the full game is released, it seems. Luckily, I got you this room. Make it your own while you wait. I'll go back watching the security perimeter outside. We got to make sure no one comes in or out of this hotel. This case is just getting started. This hotel is about to meet the wrath of Diana Cop. Oh, that's a way to finish a de uh, demo. Oh my. Alright, what if I found all the 12 pieces of the meat? I didn't. Well, what if I did? 
Would I be able to actually go a little bit further? Is this why we needed some time limit? I can change. I wouldn't change a thing about me, but I could. I potentially could. All right, no, I need the full outfit, okay. How would anyone know that I'm a detective? Suddenly Mark really did lock Dynacop in here until the full game is released. Hopefully it doesn't take five years for the devs to finish it. Okay, so, oh, that just took us away from that. So guys, what did you think? I really think it was a fun experience. I am looking forward to the full game. It is different than what uh, we got used to already with Frog Detective and with Dog Detective. It's a little bit different, but it is interesting nonetheless. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. And if you did, please let me know uh, in the comments below and wishlist the game if you liked it. Until then, oh, well, until next time. Bye-bye.